What's up, you CLBs? Tonight's ice cream review are Hagen dazs non-dairy crispy trio layers, dark chocolate coconut cookies and cream, and dark chocolate chunky peanut butter. Very, very excited they went with dark chocolate here, but I'm getting ahead of myself. For those of you who have not watched my other Hagen dazs non-dairy reviews, uh, Hagen dazs has managed to make a pretty decent non-dairy frozen dessert. Uh, and some of the flavors don't even use nut milk, which is a very interesting choice. Uh, the chocolate peanut butter one here, uh, the, for the the chocolate part, this is very interesting. Water, sugar, corn syrup, dark chocolate, cocoa, and that's it. No no milk of nuts there. The coconut one uses coconut milk, but some of the other flavors, if you look at the other, look back at those reviews, you'll see that they've done um, pretty well with without going to the standard uh, you know, outlet for and dairy-free ice creams. Everybody's doing almond milk or cashew milk or something like that. So it's pretty interesting. As far as the mainstream companies go, I think their dairy-free stuff is the best. So I was very excited about these flavors. I don't think the, the layers, um, the trio layers flavors are that great. I think it's a, it's a cheesy gimmick and it doesn't really result in, in good ice cream, IMO. But uh, especially the crunchy peanut butter flavor has an interesting concept behind it. So we're gonna do the dark chocolate coconut cookies and cream. This is creamy chocolate and velvety coconut with delicious cookie pieces layered with crispy chocolate. Let's do it. So like many dairy-free ice creams, you're gonna to wanna to let this sit out for probably five to 10 minutes, depending on how cold your freezer is, so it can temper. It does not have a very creamy texture to it. I'm not gonna say it's as bad as you know, a halo top or something like that, but uh, you definitely know it's not real ice cream. Taste-wise though, there's no weird, there's no weird texture, there's no graininess, um, and it tastes pretty good, I gotta say. It's chocolate layers, coconut ice cream, chocolate ice cream. Decent amount of the layers so far. I, I'm, I'm liking this one. I know I said during the intro that I wasn't a fan of the crispy layers in regular ice cream, but here it kind of breaks up the monotony of a somewhat boring flavor because Let's all be honest, we, we, nobody wants to eat just coconut and chocolate dairy-free ice cream unless, you know, you're lactose intolerant and you just love coconut and chocolate together. Kind of breaks up the monotony here, gives you a little, little extra uh, flavor and uh, texture as well. Here's a look at the chocolate layer. Magnum, this is not, but pretty good for what it is. You know, I actually expect them to like this one too much, but uh, it defied my expectations. Now, keep in mind, we are now on the universal scale. Dairy-free products do not get a break. We don't grade on a curve. We just give it a score based on my enjoyment and how likely I'd be to re-scoop it. Would I ever buy this again under normal circumstances when I have the full array of flavors at my disposal, like a Walmart or a Publix, for example? No. However, in some strange hypothetical scenario in which I was left only to choose between the dairy-free ice creams in my supermarket, this is gonna be at the top of my list. That being said, doesn't stand out of the pack in terms of uh, ice cream as a whole. I'm gonna give this flavor a five out of 10. Now let's get to the one I'm really excited about, dark chocolate crunchy peanut butter. Two of my favorite things, peanut butter and dark chocolate. Even a dairy-free base can't ruin that for me. Or can it, no jinx. So we got creamy chocolate and rich peanut butter bursting with crunchy chocolate coated peanuts layered between sheets of crispy dark chocolate. Sounds good. You know, their chocolate frozen dessert for being just water, sugar, corn syrup, and dark chocolate is really, really good. It's better than some coconut and some uh, almond milk. Definitely better than pretty much every soy chocolate milk ice cream I've ever had. The added texture from the layers was present here just like it was in the coconut cookies and cream. However, we also have the bonus of chocolate covered peanuts. Love chocolate covered peanuts, especially in ice cream. Oh man. You guys wonder why I have so many bent spoons? Well, first of all, I'm very impatient. I don't like to let my ice cream temper. I like to dig in, get to it. Second, I review a lot of dairy free ice creams and uh, they're just not kind to the silverware, I guess. It should come as no surprise to you guys that this is uh, my favorite of the two flavors. As a matter of fact, it's probably my favorite haagen non-dairy flavor. And that's not saying much, but it's separated itself by a fairly large margin. 
dark chocolate, peanut butter, crispy chocolate, it's chocolate covered peanuts. There's really not much to not like here. For me, I already talked about Hagen Dazs non dairy base. It's one of the better ones, especially probably the best mainstream one outside of possibly uh, Coconut Bliss or the Cashew Milk uh, So Delicious. And I would never buy the coconut cookies and cream again, but I would scoop this again because I love dark chocolate, I love peanut butter. Look, I've said it enough, guys. You know my biases, you know what I like. So I would definitely buy this one again, even though it's non-dairy. I love everything about it. Uh, I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10. Before I jump down my throat and say seven out of 10, you said you loved it for a dairy-free ice cream on this new scale, guys. That's something. Thanks for watching. See you next time.